Hello guys, welcome back to this week's Love and Show. I am back with my co-host Casey. How are you Hello, doing? Hello, how are you? And doing? we are here with Afro Drift, the world actually rather, the world's first 4x4 drifter, female know. drifter <laughs> on the globe. This is important stuff. But I wanted to ask, obviously I feel like Afro Drift isn't really your real name. Is there a real name or like how did you come up with Afro Drift? We get the drift part with Afra. Oh, we get the drift, fantastic. We get the drift. <laughs> we catch the drift. So where did you get yeah, the name? Uh, this name just stick to me uh, from the way how I drive in the desert usually. Okay. Like um, I never follow the track which people usually follow. So Afra uh, in Arabic name, uh, it means untouched land. Untouched land. Uh, See, I didn't even know that. Yes, it's supposed to be Arab. It's beautiful. <laughs> that's, it's, that's pretty. It's, it's very old Arabic name, and actually Arabic people call me like this. My Arabic friends, uh, they Bedouin. Oh, so, okay. So yeah. they gave you like your OG Emirati <laughs> yes, like drifting is. name. I love that. Nice. Yeah. And you've been obviously drifting for years, yeah. and you're fantastic, and you've won awards. What was your first ever memory of drifting? Like, how did it come into your radar? Yeah. Uh, here I want to correct something. I never been drifting for years. Okay. It was happened recently, honestly. But I had uh, a lot of different competition, like uh, rally, gymkhana, slalom. There, uh, there are a lot of different competition in the cars. And uh, drifting, I start uh, recently, and not drifting because four by four drift and drift with salon car with small car is totally different. Different. Yeah. There is a huge difference. Yes, and. Uh, pro drift and freestyle drift is as well has different and different enjoyment, which is uh, like uh, people dividing on this uh, uh, types of people. Like there are some really good pro drifters, but they don't go in this side because they love freestyle drift okay. with the ah. tricks, with some uh, obstacles, with different. Um, how to say when when your car goes on limit and you are the one in the last click can control it and wow. take the situation in your control out of some difficult like let's say uh, way when it goes sometimes we go uh, brakes overheating clutch losing like and with all everything uh, with all losses we still have to handle and um, like it's extreme, extreme, uh, extreme drive. Drive. Yeah. Sounds extreme. Sounds Maneuvering scary, the like car. Like that sounds definitely scary. But like, what was like? How did you get into drifting in the first place? Yeah. Like, um, what did you watch something? Did your friends already do it, and you were like, no, this is so interesting. Especially drifting. Um, this is the only one. Uh, racing mm -hmm. in my life was, I was skipping. I was. I didn't go there because it's really expensive. Mm -hmm. It uh, takes a lot of money and I couldn't afford it, but I was affording another uh, racing. And uh, later, uh, since I moved to Emirates, it was about two years ago when I tried my drift first time. Okay. Freestyle drift and four by four, especially four by four, this is something else. And um, I didn't know that going on that track in the first uh, championship on in the first uh, competition I didn't know that I'm moving into the world history in that moment so yeah. uh, I actually I didn't know about that until like I got a lot of um, invitation and questions from the people like we never seen that before that the girl drifts uh, four by four and we never seen this in the world there is no researching like uh, and they give me the title thanks to um, uh, Sheikh uh, Marwan Rashid, Rashid, uh, bin Rashid Al Mullah. He uh, um, is chairman for the Emirates Motorplex. He was providing right. for me track to practice, to participate, and they were supporting me in this. So, cool. so this is, was my first entry. But before that, already I had my name. I was a champion in Emirates in Mud Cross Festival, and uh, there are many competition which I was participating in. I will have I was having a lot of podiums already before and um, I just wanted so much to try myself uh, some with something new yeah and uh, that's what I did and I really uh, I didn't know that I will be enjoying so much I will be so much obsessed and addicted to this yeah. but I was watching yes I was going to uh, motorplex Emirates and I was watching uh, guys how they do this drift I was just, uh, let's say, 
absorbing and sucking this energy from this and I was charged I was feeling like it's my escape or run away from everything all my routine which I have so you had like the adrenaline pump yes, yes. Nice. how do you like how do you train for this like because to us drifting just looks so cool from afar but first of all how do you get the guts to do it yeah and then how do you improve you mentioned there's a track in Dubai but like it, do you have a trainer no I never had a trainer honestly all my uh, racing in all my life it was just only my own practice Freestyle. watching like I was I'm I have maybe good ability just to watch I watch a lot of YouTube videos and I just watch if I go to the racing I'm trying to analyze I never had the coach to teach me I uh, just try to learn like let's say uh, from what I see what goals like the world's best female 4x4 drifter and you haven't had a coach she does it all on her own would you would you maybe look into it do you think that it's necessary to kind of like take it to the next level or because i don't know about 4x4 drifting so i'm asking out of curiosity like do you think that in in the future you would want to maybe train with someone to take it to the next level for yourself or this is a very good uh, question honestly um i can say that now in my plans, I really want to go into professional more. Yeah. And I know that my skill, which I have right now, it's still not enough to be professional. And there is never enough, honestly. Yeah. You will always grow. You will always learn. And um, I am very demanding from myself. And I always uh, criticize and judge myself so much. I have uh, high limits, but I always try to achieve it. And uh, yes, I want uh, to go it into more professionally and um, maybe not in uh, for four by four. Uh, this time maybe I will just go for a pro drift. Um. She's got plans. Mm -hmm. We love cool. that. And well, yeah, yeah, go what for it. What about um, like different types of? We were talking about near, let's say, scary experiences. Have yeah. you ever had an experience in the car that you kind of thought, oh, a little bit like a little bit shaky, a little bit nervous? Or have you always been like, this is amazing, this is an incredible feeling? Yes. <laughs> oh my God. I had a lot of situations. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot of different situations and different and uh, difficult. And the situation which I didn't think I can come back and stand up again because it was really, uh, you know, you have, uh, how you said, it needs to have a guts and not only guts yeah. and spirit and will to to want to keep doing it as well after one I don't to know. keep doing it yeah. and it's uh, I've seen a lot of people I've seen a lot of friends who were break down by some accidents by some situation which happened and they it's it's just more uh, mentally difficult to handle yeah mm -hmm. uh, but thanks God I I was working on myself so much not only in my racing life but in everything I try to improve always and because uh, the balance in everything is the important what keeps us moving forward and uh, it was uh, very important for me um, to w work on my fears because of course it's one of the main things I would think mm -hmm. yeah yes all humans they we can be scared from something some experience and it's, it's really not easy yeah. and uh, the, the most important no one will do this for you unless yourself so you have to face it again, like what that I was doing. I faced it again. I faced um, because everything is in our head. So that fears which I was trying to take out of my head, I have to start again doing something, but bring me to down, and I will leave how to say basically mm. your power is your Goes mind through, can, so yes. if without that fear in mind it makes it you know that less difficult i guess for you to get out there and really start drifting uh yeah yes because uh, we need to leave it again yeah. in our thoughts in our illusion which we trying to think that it might be happen something more worse or something like we we might fight it yeah and mm -hmm. first we're fighting it inside ourselves, and then we're going True. already doing it physically so what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> I, guess. I was just so enamored by her, like, you know, her persistence and how you explained it. But no, you definitely answered our question. Um, but I also, by the way, I 
saw something. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to touch up on this a little bit. I saw something on your um, social media account. You've actually been part of several Bollywood movies, is that right? Yes. And some <laughs> yeah. Arab films. So yes. what was that? Did you play like mostly like extra roles or like how were you approached for this? Um, I was invited for Shah Rukh Khan movie and Salman Khan movie as Icon. well. You say that so as casually. As casual. <laughs> uh, it, it, it was, uh, I was in a, as extra. An extra, uh, yeah. Ex- extra mm-hmm. role. But luckily for um, Shah Rukh Khan movie, movie zero, I got, I got, I was just lucky to um, get inside and they choose me ov- over many people but they give me mask cover my face and the hood <laughs> and I think like what is the point if I'm just gonna stand uh, only just my body covered with everything and like I was still an experience because we have yes. a lot of Bollywood fans here in Dubai and yes. like they, I'm sure a lot of them would love to be part of something because I know I'm a huge Bollywood fan so when I saw that I was like oh my god I got to meet them and were you driving so or were you like just being an extra role uh, yeah, I was speaking uh, as an extra role, but I had a full uh, episode with uh, Shah Rukh Khan together in one frame uh, when he actually came into the spot of filming and he said, I want to remove from her the uh, cover and the hood. So I was like, wow, so I'm going to be with you him. A moment. Yeah, this <laughs> is the that. chance. And uh, we have to, both of us, exchange uh, an envelope. Mm-hmm. Actually, I was invited him for somewhere to another side and uh, he he played the two and um, role of him like a small uh, uh, guy and the big one so uh, they put me on the big um, stand mm. so but visually in the picture of in the, in the video in the frame it looks like I'm very tall <laughs> like the, okay. you know the filmmakers that was the role, play yeah. around and uh, we look together to the one side where the camera was spotted and I understand that, that I will be spotted on this movie and I will be like uh, people can feel uh, they will recognize me recognize as well you, yeah. and yes um, when movie was out I got a lot of messages asking me, Afra, this is you? <laughs> like, is it you? From drifter to actor. Do you, think, do you think that you'd want to go into acting if you got like more offers? Is this something you're looking into? Because you've been part of Arab, um, Arab production films as well, yes. I think, right? Yeah, and, and so it, it was an um, unbeatable fighter movie. It's local movie, Emirati movie. Mm-hmm. And uh, yes, I was uh, not in main role, but I had the part and... Um, uh, everyone was pretty happy with uh, my skill of acting there, yeah. and um, I was a kidnapper. Love that. Oh, I was a ki- kidnapper, yeah. But uh, by pe- people mostly by looking at me, they not I uh, see me. They seeing me the angel girl and <laughs> very soft. But uh, there is another side of me, like with a strong character, and I can I can be a badass. I, I see say. that for you. I see <laughs> that for you. I'm like you do suit these type of roles, really? like the strong woman roles in the films. <laughs> yeah, you okay. could be in action films. I okay. see that with her drifting skills. Why action not? films, 100 percent. And you're yeah. obviously like a massive adrenaline junkie fan. Yeah. But like, I talk, would love to. You're not. Well, well, what about adrenaline? So drifting to me is an adrenaline seeker sport. So you must get you some sort rush. of a high. You get a rush yes. from it. Do you still get the rush from that, or kind of do you look to other sports for that, or do you not classify yourself as an adrenaline lover? No, I am honestly, and I think I can't live without this. <laughs> it, it's it's just part of my life since I remember myself. It was always with me, and I need something, something charge me up, boost me up. I never stop, and even if I can't afford racing or cars. I know where else I can get adrenaline. Like for example, I had the parachute, parachute jumping, I had the rope uh, jumping. Like uh, I was racing with the horses in a high speed. I was falling down. Oh, this is just this a personality casual. type because I could not do any of these things. Same. It's incredible that yep. you seek it. Like some personalities do seek it. Yeah, because for us we would be like no. <laughs> Maybe you know I I will tell you I think you can do this. Why? Because there is the how to say the level when you can increase adrenaline needs mm-hmm. because i i was of course i was in uh, having kind of a this, um, level of adrenaline which i right. could afford but with the time i could afford more and more and more and Keep the more i go up. 
-hmm. Yes, the more you need. So that's how you increase your level. So if you never done, for example, some extreme sport, of course, your level of adrenaline, you can uh, go on a Ferris wheel <laughs> very quick. But it's <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it, it's cool. It's I love this feeling. It's really cool. And amazing. Love that. For me, it's not enough already. Sometimes just if someone uh, drives crazy on the road, I just don't even kind of react yeah. on something. And in some racing, I'm so cool to that because if I understand that it, 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 if I I am in control in the situation, mm -hmm. like it, it doesn't shake me, it doesn't make my hands shaking yeah. or something. Like I love the moments when I go out of the car and I'm shaking. It is a beautiful car. feeling. Like it you're just, it's just you and like the the four by four. This in this case, and you're just alone for a second there, and your thoughts are focused and that feeling. Do you mm. think you need more? Like, do you think you look for more adrenaline activities? Um, I'm not sure uh, about this because I don't know where I can get even more, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I, I op I'm i very open, open to, to trying new things. And she yeah. does plan to move into more uh, more uh, cars, you said, right? Drifting yes. cars, so. Yeah. Pro Drift has a high speed, honestly. Yeah. It's like about more than 150 uh, kilometers per hour. They're drifting in a sideways mm -hmm. with uh, sometimes it's tandem, sometimes it's three cars like in three them three yes, them it's crazy yeah. so mm -hmm. to end the questions i wanted to ask one last thing what do you have planned for yourself this year you know 2020 just started do you have any plans for the rest of the year other than you know going hopefully going pro <laughs> yes any, anything it, more it, for you in store this question make me lost <laughs> between the many goals which <laughs> i'm planning to do she's Love goal oriented us. good yeah. I have a lot of plans, honestly, and uh, I could say thanks God. I don't know. I have my sometimes I have my luck or my hard work. And That's we can true. Say so that uh, ethic. That I always achieve my goals when I put it in any year. Like I have some, like let's say revision for the years. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I have like plan for a year, and sometimes I even mostly achieve more than I yeah. plan. It's so amazing. Yeah. Well, that's great. And that makes me want to really, you know, replan my 20 <laughs> Yes, And, and actually ha make them happen, yeah. you know? It's amazing to get to know someone doing something that's totally... We don't get to see... We don't see enough of female drifters, so it's amazing to get a little bit of insight into your life. Definitely. Um, but next, we're going to play our little game called True Confessions. <laughs> so you know us with our, you know, original game titles, guys. Yes, so we I always play a different it. game with our guests every week. Um, we were really trying hard to come up with an adrenaline filling type of game for you, but we're like, you know what? <laughs> Some of the ideas were like would involve us getting, I don't know. We wanted to do like a water throwing game or an egg smashing, but we thought this was a little bit more um, studio friendly. Yeah, studio <laughs> we, friendly. We don't have the budget for these microphones. We don't want Alan work. freaking out, so maybe next time. But for today, we've got a game, like you said, True Confessions. Would you explain to her what the game, how it goes, and to the people watching? So guys, if you've ever played True Confessions, basically we each have a truth and a lie, yes. and we will choose what we pick. So I'm going to choose for Shireen and so on. And then you guys, and also we together, have to guess it with three questions if the person is telling a truth yes a alan you can join Basically. too alan. and you that you guys were definitely say we're, we're watching you guys as well while you're watching us so hi beth mizna and faika thanks so much for joining us if you want to help guess along with the questions just type it down in the comments we'll literally be watching Someone so said, yeah. who's to start let's start with you cool let's pick one ah. so it's either gonna be a truth or a lie and we need to guess with three questions yeah. choose confession number one please. yes Confession. I will one. give you some adrenaline for this. <laughs> Confession number one. Confession number one. Ah, uh, okay, it's not adrenaline. <laughs> okay. If you want the two, we're fine. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Okay. Um, I speak fluently Arabic and read and cycle. That's what. What age were you when you learned? One year ago. Oh! <laughs> um. <laughs> How long did it take? How long did it take you to study? About three years. <laughs> In Arabic, can you please say, "Hi guys, this is the Love and Show. Welcome." Salam alaikum, shabab. Liam, ana mojuda fi Loving Show. You should see Alan's face. <laughs> <laughs> what? She was 
floored. She is wow. floored. That was she I'm speaks that Arabic. Was perfection. So we we're gonna say yes. This is just embarrassing. Years. Second guest now on a role that's non-Arab and speaks better Arabic than me. That was amazing. So you correct three years to learn it? Um, actually, I learned it uh, from the street, from people, from the garage. I never studied. And just Shabab bad. Imagine that she's is. also local. You know. <laughs> Love that. That is incredible, by the way. Fantastic. So true. Amazing. So true. We believe you. We believe you completely. We're not even going to deny that. Thank you guys you. don't even try. Okay. Okay. Cool. Shireen. You want to pick for Shireen? Yeah. Uh, One yes. or two? Two. Two? Okay. Mine, mine are very boring, you guys. I didn't really have time to, to think about, think this Nothing through. Because I was like, the other things are way too wild. Anyway, I've been to India. That's my confession. <laughs> When was time? How many times did you go there? Um, just once. What age were you when you went? 18. Where, which part of the India is huge? <laughs> Goa. Goa? Yeah. We can, I'm going to say no only because I haven't seen a repost on her Instagram <laughs> recently. <laughs> and no therefore comment. I'm going to say no. Uh, you, I think you pick Goa because it's like commonly for India to go and have a rest. Yeah. And the vacation, so yeah. that's why you pick it. So, so you, I don't so you think you. I did? You don't believe me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she said, I just said go on because it's the most common yeah, tourist spot. It's just to pick. Fine, you're right. <laughs> I did not go to India, <laughs> though I want to. Like detective, I love it. <laughs> Female intuition, I love it. Oh, which one do I pick? Um, Number one? Should we go with one? Yes. One? Number I'm one. I'm scared, I'm scared. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have a tattoo that says, why not? Stop. Why not? You have a tattoo. If this is true, I will feel so betrayed. <laughs> I'll feel so hurt. I've never heard of her having a tattoo. Okay, let me ask. And it says, why not? It says, why not? Which part of your body? Yes, this is the question I wanted to ask. My foot. Which foot? Left or right? Left one. How long did it take? Can, can, oh, can you, you ask, can you, ask, you, ask, no you problem, ask? No problem, no problem. I just, I, I'm so I'm just into so, it. yeah, I'm just so like... Oh. Just give her time, you know, because I'm enjoying so much. She's going to keep going. She's I have more than three questions, so you ask the last one. Uh, can you show it? Um, well, I'm wearing That would easily give it away, though. And socks, so not right now in this show. I don't believe... I don't want to show um, you. I can believe you, honestly. I'm not sure anymore. I don't know. I maybe asked the. Can I have? Can I ask one more what question? Was the I, that she got it? Yeah. <laughs> Alan. We're Alan's like, asking what's the reason we're, she we're got it. This is very, very philosophical. Why did right. I get it? I got it because yeah. I had made a decision not to get more tattoos, and then for some reason I thought, hmm, why don't I just get why not instead? <laughs> <laughs> that is not true. It is absolutely not true, and if it is, I'm judging you. I'm judging the heck out of you. Okay, responses? No, I, I, don't, I believe don't believe it. It's true. <gasps> Stop! No way. Honestly, I had, I I had, I had a sense. I the reason. I did not explain that. I, I had really a have a tattoo that says, why not? Yeah. <laughs> you know why? I guess I had a sense that I uh, would say, yes, it's true. Because, first of all, she looked at the feet when we ask her. Mm -hmm. ah. This is the first. Second, That's why correct. not is very uh, specific and philosophically deep. And the second and the third, it's... Um, I, I lost my <laughs> Well, the second one gives me way too much credit. I'll take that um, philosophically deep, accept it. Yeah, it's, it, so it can we know? I'm very curious. The real story? Why do you have a why That's, not tattoo? It's for another day. Oh my God. <laughs> like, she goes, why not? Yeah, why, why not? not? That's, that's actually what you should just tell people. Why not? That's, yeah, that's pretty much <laughs> it's, it. Really. It's, and in, the, it. in the food, it's like for her own space, and she doesn't have to show I anyone. I love it like for, her. for her. Honestly, yeah. I love that. And by Why the way, guys? yes, because because also Trademark. I have tattoo, yeah. and the way how she explained, like it, it's it's um, I was, I was having sense. Mm. Yes, I have but tattoos you know, too, but I, I just. Know, uh, sorry, sorry. You know, uh, I I agree that it was false the way how she laughed. This is make me confused. Yeah. I was like, the way how I laughed. Yeah, you laughed, so it was confusing me. <laughs> like I think, like really, no. 
I had a sense. I was trying to do a poker face, yes. and it was a bit. You are so good in this. You really confused me. I was like, wow. Wow. Okay. I could just sense her shock. Okay, the wow. last one. I'm what did shock. you pick up the first time? What did you? Did you? Did we go with one or two earlier? Oh, first we go. So let's do the other one for you. Uh -huh. Okay. I was living in a desert for 28 days. That's cool. Ask the questions. Oh. Ask the questions. <laughs> Ask the questions. <laughs> You're living in the desert. Um, why? I had to afford my living. <laughs> and I wanted to try something else. Um, mm, mm, what did you eat during this time? 28 Half days. Half a sausage a day. Half a sausage a day? Hmm. And were you with anyone? No, alone. With my cat. Mm. Interesting. I don't believe it. I love the idea that it's Or maybe possible. I do, but not with the sausage a day. I would expect it was. some like... I was also going to... I was going to say no for that same reason. And you were saying it's true? Yes. <gasps> I was what? living in the desert for 28 days to afford my car to build it for racing. And in the same period of time, I was participating in rally. And nobody was knowing about this. So sorry. Oh I have to open my that. God. And how did you get out of that space? Like, how were you able to afford the, your car and moving back into Dubai? Um, actually, I was, uh, you know, the wood. I mm -hmm. was getting the wood and making fire. But I was sleeping inside the car because it was cold period of time. And yeah. I don't like to sleep outside and sleep in bags. Even I had my friend who gave me sleeping bag. Actually, he's wow. the one who knew about that fact. He wanted to help, but I said, no, I just want to experience that because I want to do it myself. Yeah. I want to live this experience. and. Why not? Why not? Why not? Because exactly. I want to face this, and uh, until I can like keep on, why not? I want to try something. That kind of sounds like it would be really and fun to do on kind of yeah. That too. That too. Like, how am I gonna make it? You know, twenty-eight days is out of your comfort zone. I think she she really loves doing things out of her comfort zone, <laughs> which incredible. is incredible. And I'm yeah, I, I wasn't gonna say yes at all. That's amazing. So Same. <laughs> okay. Like this game more. Right. Okay. Should okay. We? I can read and write in Korean. Hangul, <laughs> Korean. Okay. In Korean. Wow, Korean. Hangul. In hmm? the name of the language, Korean um, is Hangul. Okay. So why, I can why, read and write why Korean? Hangul, Korean fluently. Why Korean? Because I was really into K-pop when I was um, younger. Yeah. Younger. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, can you please write uh, in <laughs> Hangul? Hungen. <laughs> Can you please write something then? If what do you want me to write? Um, really easiest. Okay, maybe th this is the only w phrase, common phrase you can know. No way, she does. Are you sure it's uh, correct? Uh, well, well, we we'll can check. <laughs> and we'll tag all of the K-pop power accounts so they can check it. Wow. <laughs> now say that. Annyeong haseyo. That's true. Mashallah. Okay. That's good. Do we have that's one more question? Yes, you do. Let me take it. I mean, that pretty much, mm, I feel like, already <laughs> proves it. But, um, I mean, no, yeah, I could still be lying. Maybe I just practiced what, that what one. What do you use it for? Because, like, is it useful? Absolutely no idea. I just learned it because I found the Korean boys so cute. I said, I want to, like, maybe one day I'll marry them. So I'll just know the language wow. for now. I don't understand what I'm reading when I read Korean, but I can read it. You have very good ability <laughs> to learn language. But wait, I don't. I, I, I taught myself how to read and write Arabic too a little, but mm -hmm. it's still not as fluent as my Korean reading and writing is. Can I, you imagine? I, 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 and I'm actually <laughs> Arab. Oh, really? okay. So, yeah. I, 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 I want to believe you, honestly. Yeah? Do you want to believe me? But do you believe her is the question, not you want to. I'm gonna ask. She was three. so good in writing. It's like uh, same if I do write in Arabic right now for you. Mm -hmm. Like I can, I can compare. But sometimes we can just know only one word. Let's say yeah, which you pronounce you right now. Can I say another word? What do you want me to say? Well, she mm -hmm. said read and write. She didn't say. Yeah, I can uh, a little speak. I mean, I watched a lot. Write, yeah. But yeah, that doesn't. That won't prove the read and write. So I, ask me I live more. in Dubai. Can you write? Okay, never mind. This <laughs> Okay, no. then I don't trust I'm, you. I'm this gonna is say no, only because I follow her on Twitter, mm. 
and I know that she used to like K-pop, and I believe that you would have been tweeting your K-pop buddies <laughs> in Hungan. I'm gonna pronounce it again okay. if you were able to. So my answer is no. Alan. That's right. Um, yes. That's right. Ah. You say you're saying yes too. Yeah, before. Yeah. Because you know she, she actually write. Yes, I she can read it. and write. Fluent Hangul. Before I even learned to read and write Arabic, I taught myself Hangul. Yeah, it's easy. It's not that difficult because they go like um, syllable by syllable. Can we zoom in on that? That's incredible. Yeah. So that's Annyeong. It's like they split up the word. So Annyeong Haseyo. Annyeong Haseyo. Um, so their vowels are very like, yeah. This is Shireen. I can write your, my name, you guys' name. <laughs> I really so love I Korea. Korea. I think you've been quite good at the confessions, though. She's been good. Um, yeah. I feel like you're able to like go in a little bit deeper than I'm just doing surface level. And you're like actually trying to read. <laughs> She's the analyzing our person yeah. persona. I love that. <laughs> okay. Last one for Casey. Last one. So this was, I wanted to do something a bit adrenaline related. Um, mm. So I went to Skydive Dubai, fainted on the way up. <laughs> and so they wouldn't let me fly. Are you serious? So I have to come back down. If this is true. Um, I can guess it's true, maybe. <laughs> Out of all our conversations, do we have questions? Uh, yeah, uh, no, I know. You know, I had the question before, honestly, because you said that uh, I would not do this adrenaline, and mm, so that's that's, true. that's why. That's true. She did so say that. Did. So yeah. first question. This skydive is like okay. I'll keep it. Um, no faith in this room. <laughs> um, <laughs> You already answered. I don't know. I kind of believe it. So I just want to ask questions that will further solidify that answer. Mm. And available um, for your questions. Um, How did you even get there? Yeah. To the, to the what inside. What made you decide to, do to go to go to this? Um, I got it free with work. Hmm. Thanks. At which huh? point? <laughs> at which point? What were the thoughts running in your mind at the point where you were like literally crying? I, I never said I cried. I just got overcome oh. with emotion. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oops. And I just. I'm, I, it's like when you're going up in an airplane I don't know if this happens to people and you're thinking I know this happens a million times across yeah. the world every day but actually how does it, how does it work yeah. how? so I kind of thought um, you my got parachute, paranoid. the guy I was like I don't really trust you that much no <laughs> thanks and my body actually just kind of shut down do you have one last question? Getting stressed because I think I'm, I, they, I think they, I believe they it. will jump with you and they will not ask <laughs> if you're already in there yeah, might as I well. I guess you already have a decision before. It cannot be there if you cannot or something. They will also scan you and understand. Like, If mm -hmm. only it's not medical reason in happening in that spot. They would still let her go and do it? Mm, so do you I believe it? I fainted. You, I think there is the people, they're signing before they go into the... This, uh, yeah, but I, I think you can still back out on the plane. Really? I, I <laughs> believe it. Back up there. I okay. believe it. What about you? Do you no, believe confession? She doesn't. What's the truth? She didn't even go there. <laughs> She's so true. Imagine. <laughs> you are very good at this. Yeah, no, I didn't. What? I, yeah, I did this not. is all a lie? It's a complete lie. Come on. A, work, please give me a free skydive. <laughs> Actually. B, um, I feel like I would be nervous, but it is something I'd like to try one day. Oh my God, you're good. Good. Yeah, you're very good. <laughs> I'm just here, like, you I can tell so me, you know? I was so really having fun with it, girls. Because, you know, I'm we. So happy. Yeah. Yeah. It's such a fun game. I want to do this game more also you with our other guests. We obviously work together, so we would know each other a little yeah. bit better, but you've been able to, like, go behind the line, which is fantastic. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us in today's interview. By the way, we've learned so much about the world of drifting by 4x4, and we so really fun. can't wait to keep watching where you go, where you end up. Hopefully, with the pro we'll be right there to watch mm -hmm. and i've been inspired now i'm inspired now to do something adrenaline That's so cool i love feeling. this you know, <laughs> not drifting probably not yet but <laughs> maybe not? the it's dune buggy can we call you know? the back of the car <laughs> like yeah or we can go behind the car but also if you want to give a shout out i think you just started a youtube channel yeah. yes you want to give a shout out how people can find you and they can check you out want your them videos? to watch you let them know uh, yes i would love to tell that i launched my youtube channel which is called afra world and I uh, choose this specific name because in this world uh, of mine, <laughs> let's say, so there will be everything regarding not only cars, there will be exclusive interviews, there will be shows, there will be um, uh, action, uh, action parts, like with the people who usually 
like very rare, you dif difficult to find them or show them on public, like stunt drivers who can drive on one wheel, two wheels, uh, cars Amazing. and anything. And uh, some interviews with uh, deaf people who doesn't know how to speak and uh, um, listen. I have many of my friends who don't know how to speak and that listen. We are communicating with them. Um, ASL, uh, sign, uh, just sign language, sign, yeah. sign language, yes, and um, it's 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 really uh, will be my channel will be so good. It'll be everything, a bit of everything, which is good. Yeah, but base basic in the main fundamentations will be a cars, of nice. course. Very cool. Okay, amazing. Well, thank Afro you so world much for joining us, guys. We'll be back, of course, same time, same place next week. See you then. See you. Bye. Bye. See you. <laughs>